I've been talking about sensitivity in terms of the size of these photocytes or photocells if you want to think of them that way on the sensor. But there's another characteristic which is called dynamic range. Now you might not even be familiar with what dynamic range means in terms of video. In audio you might think of dynamic range as the range between the loudest sound that you can hear clearly and the noise floor. Well, in video, it's the same kind of thing. It's the range between the brightest thing that you can pick up clearly and the noise floor, the noise floor being uh, this snow or graininess that you see in the picture. The larger a photosite is, the more photons it can accept and the greater the dynamic range can be. And this allows you to have more contrast. Contrast or contrast ratio is the most important thing to consider. All of these cameras, if they're HD, they all have the same kind of spec. They're all 1080 line or 720 line or whatever kind of HD it is. But they're not providing the same amount of sharpness and they're not providing the same amount of texture. And those are both related to contrast ratio. According to one school of thought, the sensation of sharpness is actually proportion to proportional to the square of the area under a curve that plots resolution against contrast ratio. So the curve would look something like that. And uh, the more area there is under that curve, the square of that area gives you the uh, sharpness sensation. There are some people who say that it's not the square of the area, it's just the area directly, but either way, the area under that curve is very important. That curve is called a modulation transfer function curve. And the larger the dynamic range, the greater the contrast that you're getting at any particular resolution. And that contrast can have a tremendous effect on the appreciation that people have for pictures.